Hi guys, welcome back to Back to Basics episode 12, where Michael is taking me through kind of the ins and outs of trade ideas, or just some of the basics here to get started. Um, we started the journey way back, if you want to click back to the beginning of the playlist there and kind of follow along, he's giving me uh, the rundown on how to become a great trader. Great trader. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. I was going to first only make you okay, but I guess we can make <laughs> you great. So last week we did uh, the basics of trade ideas, how it scans the market, how it shows you what instruments you may be looking for. You don't know what you're looking for yet, but the point of this is just to give you something to follow along. So starting next week, we're going to go back into um, charting geometric patterns and you know, different setups you can do, different trading styles and, and strategies. So I wanted to have you understand the basics and give you some scans so you can go through and just look at some charts every day. And at the same time, you can enter some orders, just play around. Uh, I, it's fake money to begin with, and I will reset your fake money when we're when you have a plan and we're getting serious, but I just want you to hit buttons. So something as simple as if you buy someone's product that day, Go and buy their stock. Just hit buttons. Okay. Right? You know, get get a feel of it. So what we're doing today is all going to be about that. It's about order entry. It's about hitting the buttons. Um, so we talked about last time how trade ideas can basically be a front end for a broker. Currently, it's interactive brokers. Soon, it will be E Trade. Uh, that's all depending on you know development time and all of that. So you can link to these brokers. But the beauty of it is the front end will still be the same. So that's what this is right here, which is called Brokers Plus. So Brokers Plus is just a way to automate your trading. It's a way to, um, you can fully automate it, right? If you wanna go through and do alert windows for full automation, you can do that. If you wanna go through and semi-automate, you can do that as well you can actually just enter the orders yourself. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set you up with an ability that you can right click a stock and I'm here on the SIM, on my SIM right now, so I won't mess anything up. Okay, so what Brokers Plus does, just connected here to the SIM, which you'll have to do every morning. So I guess you'll open up, you'll hit the connect button, connect to trade ideas, simulated trading, and then you're in. So one thing that you can do, there's a couple ways to enter orders and we're gonna go through those now. The first one is these buttons right down here. So this is how you would manually do it. Okay. We'll go through order types down the road. Um, don't worry about them too much right now. What you'll do, uh, let's use Peloton for an example. So I have that up here. Uh, so say I wanted to short Peloton, mm -hmm. right? There's 100 shares filled in. So what happens is you'll see as soon as I type in that symbol, the symbol part right here, that filled in with the right ticker. So just double check to make sure the right ticker is there. It's, you'll see it in big letters right behind the chart there. Right. Just make sure those match, but that will be done for you. Pick your share size. For now, we'll start with 100 shares when you're doing it this way. Now, are we going to get into share size at some point? Yes. Okay, great. Cause... Share, it's, it's everything. Right, so you think about the whole coin flip mm -hmm. math that we did before. If that coin flip is you risking um, your entire net worth on a coin flip, and if it hit heads, you have to give me everything you've ever owned, and if it tails, I give you double that amount. That's a bad deal because you're just putting it all on black and seeing what's happened. But if it was, I'll pay you $2, when you're right and you pay me one dollar when you're wrong that's a good deal you do that all day long right okay so that's why share size and risk management is everything for you guys out here share size and risk management it took me years of sucking as a trader until i figured that out and that that's what changed the game for me it's all risk management so yes we'll get into it but for now if you're doing it this way 100 shares order types we talked about a little bit, we'll talk about a little bit more. Remember we talked about limit orders, stop loss orders, market orders, very, very briefly Okay. for the first few seconds. We'll go back into that. We're gonna use a market order, which is basically, remember the order type that says, just get me in whatever okay. price. And then if you did wanna put a stop, 
you would fill out this box. So for example, if I wanted to, let's do something to buy, because I know shorting can be complex in there. So say I wanted to buy Apple released a new iPhone today, right? So say I think that if Apple gets over this $288 tomorrow, that it's gonna move higher. Okay. I would put in this box right here, the stop price, the price that I want this order to go live. So let's make it 288.10. All right, just 288. And then what will happen is it will send a market order when that price is triggered. So okay. if I hit buy, mm -hmm. won't work in the after hours. <laughs> okay. Two, let's do this as a stop gap for now. So what that will do is it will just put an order to buy if that gets over and it will show here on the charts. So if you wanted to buy Apple as it broke this 288, $288, because you're like, the new iPhone looks good, I think it's gonna sell a lot, plus the technical analysis, plus statistical analysis we'll talk about later, you would just fill in here $288, and then you just click the buy button. Okay. So you see that line that's come out on the chart? That line is where it will buy the stock for you. So if you want to do any kind of adjustment, you can say, no, I want to wait till it gets to here to buy it. You can do that. You can, you know, move wherever. Now, if you said, I want Apple, so say you're doing your trend lines and you're saying, I want to buy Apple if it gets back to this trend line. So I don't want to buy it when it's spiking up. I want to buy it when it's pulling back. And let's call this uh, 267. We'll just delete that with the delete key. Then we will just type in under price uh, 267 and we will just kind of clear this out here entirely and then we'll click buy and you can see it put an order there. So for example, if you wanted to buy Apple the next time it came and touched this trend line, you could put out that order, check it at the end of the day. If it didn't get filled, maybe move it up for the next day. Now, okay, if it didn't get filled in the first day, will it stay there until it gets filled? That's up to you, um, okay. but we'll set it by default so that it will. Uh, you can have it so that you just leave the order out there for a day. You can have it so that you just leave the order out there for five minutes. If you're intraday trading, that's all customizable okay. to you. So that and if you, okay, so say you wanted to buy it at 269 or whatever we were buying it at, yep. would you have to watch it until you, like, so let's say you bought it at 269 and then it was going up, 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 up. And then let's say it got to 280 and then started to come back down again. Are you having to watch that? Like to make sure you're not losing money? Do you know no. what I mean? So that's what's called a stop loss order. So you know how we kind of said, if the price gets to this, get me in. Right. You can do that the other way around. Okay. So if, for example, I wanted to put a stop loss order out at 260, excuse our dog making a racket there, I would make this one market. And again, I'll go over this with you when you want to place your first order. And I would make this to call it 264. And then we would hit sell. So you see the red line oh, is the stop okay. order. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I could put it here and now I have set up a trade. So if Apple now comes back down to this trend line, mm -hmm. the system will buy it for you automatically. And okay. this is why I set you up with a cloud computer. So it's always up there running right and then what it will do is it will put out the stop loss order so that if apple comes here and then just continues to go down you're It'll wrong get back out. you're out okay. but what you can do is assuming that you're in what every day or so you can just raise it up a bit so say for example you wanted to say i'm going to buy this and then if it gets back below this moving average this blue line that we talked about in the other one that's when i'm going to exit okay you could just raise it up every day under this line Right, if you want it. So you're kind of securing yourself like a little profit on the trade if you're moving it up. Right. Okay. So I am in a bunch of positions now. I am in, uh, the best one I'm in is Slack, which their tick ticker is just work. So I bought Slack way down here, mm -hmm. right? So I have the same, so just imagine this was a stop line. So now I bought it down here at I think 1650, right? Went up to 30. And then it pulled back to 22 here and now it looks like it's going up again. So what I've done is I've just pushed my stop up to about this area. Okay. So now even though I'm in 16. You've already, you've made that. Right. Okay. And it, I will just continue to do this as long as 
slack okay. continues to move higher and then at some day at some point it will reverse and get me out and what i hope is that i'm in it for long enough and that when it gets me out that was near the top you'll mm -hmm. never get the bottom you'll never get the top but close enough to it so that is basically how you enter orders that's how you trail stops you'll move the stops up as they they go against you one rule you never move a stop down right it's it's a very dangerous if you're short you can move a stop down but okay. you know if my in work when i bought work my initial stop was right under this low yeah right if it looks like it's going to stop you out, every human being has an inclination to say, well, if I just move this down a little bit, maybe it won't hit my stop, and then it will go up and it will make a lot of money. That is rule number one. You set your stop and you leave it. You can only move it in the direction of you losing less money. Okay. Hard and fast, like, you know, beat yourself up if you ever do it. It's like a an account killer. Um and the reason for that is, again, when we talked about the coin flip, is you're going to risk a small amount on every trade. If you're right 30% of the time, and every now and then you get something like this wicked trade I have in work where the stock doubled, then even if you're only right 30% of the time, you're still going to make money. But if those small losses ever turn into massive losses mm -hmm. because you lost control, you're dead, right? So that's one way to do it. Now, the other way to do it, which is something that we'll talk about uh, more as things go on, but I'm going to set up some basic ones for you, is what we call order entry scripts. Um, so, for example, I hope this works after hours. It may not. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to buy using this one. All right. It actually worked. So this, again, is my sim. So what I did there is I just said, I like the stock. I want to buy it. And what the system did for me, and again, we'll get you more into this as it went, it said, okay, this algorithm is risking $50 on a trade. And here's the price of the stock at 2814. And here is the low of the day at 2458. So you see that it bought me 14 shares. It basically did the math and said, okay, you want the stop at the low of the day, and here's the current price. So here's the difference between the low of the day and the current price. And it did the math so that if I get stopped out, it risks me 50 bucks. And it just did all that for you right there. Okay. So that's what we're gonna end up doing where you'll be able to right click and say, hey, um, buy me this stock here, and it will run the math so that you're, uh, when you're wrong, it will risk a certain amount. And that's done by these, you see these little B and S buttons up here? Mm -hmm. It's just buy and sell. So I don't even know which algo I have this set up. You see when I clicked buy, it changed my cursor. If I say I want to buy work if it gets over there, uh, it won't work after hours uh, with what I have set up. But what it would do is say, okay, it's going to buy you at $30. The low of the day is $25, or we're going to do... Um, what's called ATR. It's going to just take whatever the stock normally does as a range, and that will be your stop. Um, and it will just do those numbers for you. So those are the different ways to enter. And then the last bit of this is these different tabs here. What you'll do is if you ever want to cancel orders, you'll go to the orders tab up top here. Mm -hmm. And then you can sort these by live orders. And live orders are also in white if it's not sorted you see all the white orders these are orders that are out there a live order mean it's out there it's in the market what's the green and red one mean well green is one that was filled okay and red is ones that i've canceled okay right so and are you seeing this it probably depends on what you have it set for is that like for the day or for the month or for the week or um filled and canceled are for the day but the live orders are just, if they're out there, they're live okay. orders, right? So if I go and I filter by live, then I know I have orders out for Apple and work, right? So what I can do is I can say, okay, I wanna click on this work order. Maybe I don't want this here anymore. I just wanna cancel it. So for example, you wanted to buy a stock when it was pulling back to a trend line, but then the stock just kept going, never gave you a chance. You wanna cancel that order. Now, here's a question that's kind of off track. So you know how, you, like you put the order out and then it goes to your broker mm -hmm. and then they have to get it or do it or fill it fill it yeah. yeah 
When you cancel that, you don't have to pay them? Nope. Okay. It's only when you get filled. Okay. So yeah, so for example, maybe Apple's a better example. So I have this order out. I want to buy Apple when it gets to this trend line. Say tomorrow, the rest of the world agreed with you that this iPhone was awesome. It's going to be the greatest iPhone out there. It, it opens up way up here at like 350. You're like, okay, so I'm not going to get my pull back to my trend line. I'm out. You can find the order here. Just hit the cancel button and it'll go away. Okay. Right? Cancel this one just because you don't want to leave that out there and it'll go away. Because orders that are out there in the market take up your buying power. So we're giving you $100,000. That means in theory you can buy $400,000 worth of stock. Okay. Right? So every order you put out there, the broker assumes that it's filled and it takes that buying power away from you. But wouldn't it matter what the price of the stock is? Yeah. Well, that's just, I'm just, no, no. You get $100,000. And what happens is the broker gives you what's called margin, four times margin. So you have up to $400,000 worth of stock you can buy. Now, each share of a company is different value, but you still have 400,000. So you may be able to buy two shares of Amazon. Right, okay, that's right? what I mean, yeah. But you okay. could buy- A bajillion of something. JC, JC Penny, which is now a 24 cent stock. You could oh. buy a shit ton. Yeah, they're, they're having a rough time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that will change, but your buying power remains the same. So what I'm saying is if you have a bunch of orders out there that you're never intending to get filled, they're still taking that buying power. So you wanna cancel orders. Okay. Plus, right, if Apple, um, if your synopsis on Apple was, I wanna buy it if it pulls back to this trend line, and then all of a sudden it, it gaps up the next day, You don't, if you leave the order out there, it will stay out there in theory forever. So if you just forget about it and one day it will, yeah, three years from now, if you know, Apple tanks back down to this level, mm -hmm. you don't want it there anymore because it's no longer your trade. Right. So now, you know, the basics of entering orders and the scans. So your homework is going to be to go through these scans every night. Um, again, I will customize them for you as you find out what you like and don't like, and then uh, go through our AI, which you'll just find here every night and see what uh, she did. It's usually like five or 10 trades. Mm -hmm. Set out an order a day and then check it the next day. Make sense? I think so. All right. So that is it for this, guys. Next week we are back to learning setups, learning technical patterns statistical the fundamental fun stuff. and then now there's going to be homework with every episode because when i teach you about descending triangles it's going to be go out there and find a descending triangle and make a trade off it okay all right that was a very scared look you gave me there <laughs> the descending triangle that's my, one of my favorite setups well hey. a lot of geometric diamonds and triangles and butterflies and upside, bats upside and down heart there's uh, there's rounded bottoms oh. there's cup and handles there's head and shoulders there's knees and toes not knees and toes maybe you'll patent your own technical pattern called the knees and toes there you go okay guys once again um if you're watching the video on my channel that means that the next one is already up on jessica's so go there if you want to uh, catch up on that um, links to both of our channels are in the description as long as um, a discount code and link to get trade ideas full disclosure that's an affiliate link so it kind of financially rewards us for doing this uh, if you're interested in giving it a shot do that as well as I will put the cloud link for the setup that I'm going to give Jess in the description as well so if you're already a trade idea subscriber you can just copy that link go file load from cloud, paste that link into this box here, and you'll have the exact same layout that Jess is looking at. So that is it guys, and uh, yeah, trade safe out there. Bye.